Okay, guys. So, you know, I was working a question in part three, and something just I uh, just stumble on this in a way. Now, when you expand a plus b all square, you get a square plus b square plus two ab. If you square root a square a plus b all square square root, right? In this sense, is the same as the square root of a square plus b square plus two ab. But you know that the square root of a plus b all square square root is equals to a plus b. This implies that a plus b is the same as a square plus b square plus two ab root. Now, just look at this. I'll maybe go through it a little more here right we can start from this point this is accepted right so let's look at this a plus b all square gives you this using the grid method if i root both sides i'm saying a plus b all square root is equivalent to a square plus b square plus 2ab root. But I know that a plus b all square root is the same as a plus b. This here I'll try to explain. And from this, I'm saying this, if this is equal to this, and you know that this is equal to this, it implies that this is also equal to this. So let's look at this. So I'm saying a plus b square square root. Sorry about that. Right? You have something like this. This is the same as a plus b square to the half, right? So this gives you a plus b 2 times 1 upon 2 cancel and you get a plus b. So you move from here to here. Good. A plus B all square square root is the same as A plus B. Now you just hold that idea. The same A plus B can be expressed in a different format. Now look at this. You know A plus B all square is the same as a square plus b square plus 2ab. So if I put a square root sign here and I put a square root sign here, square both sides, it's still equal. But I know that this is equivalent to a plus b. But so that means that a plus b is the same as a square plus b square plus 2ab root. Now you can test this if it's true. Supposing a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1. So what you have here, 1 plus 1 is, so you're going to have, I can write it like this here. 1 plus 1 is 2. Now let's test it on this side. 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 into 1 times 1. 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 2 by 1 by 1 is 2, right? So you have 2 plus 2 is 4. This is the root of 4, which is equal to 2. This here is 2. Right? 
I can write it closer in here, 1 plus 1 here is equals to 2. Now you can use 10 and you can use 100. You put them into this. And you're going to see this holes. Now this here, it's an easy way to reduce something complex to this. And I think while working on the question in part three, um, many things in maths you don't really see right away, but you know, as you go through some expressions and you, you can prove it out. Um, so I think this is a very um, neat reduction here or expansion of something, right? And we can look at this idea from this is a plus b all squared. Now I can take up a minus b. So let's do that. So supposing you have a minus b all squared, right? You know this is the same as a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. Now if I square root both sides, they're still equal because what I do on one side, I did on the other side. Try to bring that in a minus b all square square root. Right? They're still equal. But what is a minus b all square? So this here is the same as a minus b square to the half because the square root sign you get a half here now this is the same as a minus b to the 2 times 1 upon 2 which is really equal to a minus b to the 1 which is a minus b right so a minus b all square square root is equivalent to a minus b. Now what I'm saying here, right, is that this here is equivalent to a minus b. But you know, this is equal to this. So what I'm saying, this is the same as root of a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. Now just using the laws of indices and simple bracket expansion, you can start to see how you can reduce or expand expressions, put it in different forms. Right? Um, if I um, could go back to that question that we looked at in part three, uh, let me see if I can find what I was saying there. Yeah, so this is, this is a very um, powerful idea, right? just starting to see how you can take an expression and put it in a different format and express it out. It will help you in many, many mathematical proofs or in terms of reducing stuff. So I'll stop here for this video.